Hi, today I'm going to show you some basic tips on how to work an animation desk. This is an app that lets you digitally animate a scene. So here's the home screen. Across the bottom you have some basic tools that you can use and it shows you your past projects. Now if I slide over, this is the project that the app started with to show what it can do. It's a cool horse. And this is one that I have done. You see I can hit play and show you the clip. I'm not going to show you the whole thing right now. I want to show you how to use the app. So you want to go down and you hit that orange plus to create something new. You want to click blank sequence. At this point, they make you choose a title for it. I'm just going to do tester demo. Now you can also choose your frames per second. That's FPS and the number of frames you're going to do. I like to do about eight frames per second. And we'll just start off with 24 frames is fine. So you have your blank screen. Now let's talk about those tools across the bottom. This is one of the tools that you'll use the most. So there's cut, paint bucket, pen, paintbrush, marker, pencil, smudge, and erase. So let's see what some of those look like. If I choose paint, do a little squiggle, let's choose just that blue. it fills the color nice and smooth. If I go to pen, that one does a nice thin line. Marker has kind of that chisel tip to it. Pencil gives you that nice texture of a graphite pencil. The smudger is nice. You can blend your colors together. You see them smudging there. Obviously, we all know what an eraser is. You can erase. And then let's say if you had a full shape that you created, let's just do a little box. You could use the paint bucket and you can fill it in completely with just one tap. Now let's talk about the color. So if I click over here, that gives me my full color palette. It gives you some preset colors and if you choose the color wheel, you can be more specific. Now to get back to the tools, I just click that again. Also, when you click on a tool, it gives you a shortened, small little color palette that you can use with your most recent colors on it. Now we have opacity and tolerance over here. And then if we click on this fraction here, it gives you some good details about your project. It'll show you all the slides you've done, what layers you're on, going back to the beginning, playing backwards, back one slide, what frame you're on, forward a slide, play forwards, and all the way back to the beginning. Then we have some settings, add a frame, and clicking the paint bucket will get us back to our tools. So let's go to all the layers. This shows you all the frames that you have and what you've completed so far. So let's say I wanted to add a frame. I could go and I click that plus with a little box around it. And I would add one frame, check, yes. Now you notice it got a little bit lighter. Now I can draw on the background. Let's go back to my tools here. We'll just go pencil. And I'll draw next to the pencil before. You see how this one shows up a bit darker because I can see my layer completely where I'm at now. Now let's erase this. Let's go and erase everything so we can make a full video. I go back and I want to go back one frame. So I can go back to the beginning, back one frame. It's the same thing for me. So now I'm back on frame one. Everything is big and bright. I'm going to go back to my regular tools, my eraser. Now I can make, make my eraser bigger in two ways. I could do it down here or up here with a plus. If I just click and hold on the plus, it makes your tool bigger. Minus would make it smaller. Let's erase everything out so we start with a blank slate. Now, I'm just going to do a quick little sketch of a face talking. So I'm just going to use the pencil tool. Start by making my big circle. Give it some eyes. Now I'm just doing this really rough. You could go in and add so many more details. I just wanted to show you quickly how to use this app. Let's give it a little smile. Now I want to go to my next frame. So I'll go down to the bottom 
And I'll click back to the tools there. And I'm gonna hit the arrow forward. That'll take me to my next frame. As you see, it says two there. Now, if you notice, the original picture is a lot lighter. So we call this an onion skin, where you can see the layer before, so you can line things up exactly. Now my layer I'm drawing now is a lot darker, so you know what you've done before and what you're doing now. I could take my time and make it exact. Let's just quickly draw this out. I'm going to work my way through here, and I'm gonna make my mouth open just slightly with each frame. So let's just start opening just a little bit. Now I'll go to my next frame again. That'll take me to frame three, and I'll repeat the process over and over, opening my mouth just a little bit each time. Now, one thing you want to remember when you're doing animation is that the slower you move, the better it's going to be. Now, if you make mistakes, you can go to your eraser, erase it out, and redo. Nothing wrong with doing that. Also, in the upper right-hand corner, there is an undo button you can use as well. Yeah, that's close enough. So as I said, the smaller the changes for each frame, the better it's going to be going to make for a smoother video. If I jumped and made this mouth wide open right away, it would look really choppy and fast in the final video, and you don't want that. I want to do small little changes, better it's going to be. Now I'll go over to my next slide, click a forward arrow, and now we're on four. And again, I just keep going. Animation is not a fast process. It takes a lot of time. I mean, even just look at how simple my image is. I'm only on frame four. This is gonna take a while. Think back to those full animated movies when people had to do this by hand. Think Disney movies where they had to draw everything out, all the details, the background. It gives you a great appreciation for what those people did. And I'm just gonna make that mouth open a bit more. Nice big smile. Next frame. Now I'm going to slowly start closing my mouth again to complete that loop. So it's open wide and then it's going to start closing. It's going to keep going through, going over everything, making the mouth a little bit more closed each time. Again, take your time, make it look good. I'm doing it fast just for this demo's purpose so you can see how the tools work. I think my circle's becoming more of an oval with each layer. That's okay, it's just a little demo. And we'll close that mouth some more. I really like that onion skin, showing that layer before so you can see what you've done to help line things up. It's a great tool you see in a lot of animation programs. You see it in stop motion and things like that. You'll hear that term a lot. Onion skin is a kind of a see-through layer of the picture you've done before. Now let's just go one more here. See, I'm at 10 frames so far. I'm going through this pretty fast. And we'll just do a tiny little opening. Great. I have one final one where I'll close the mouth completely again. Eyes. Eyes. Now, if I click the play button, it'll show me what I've done so far. And I see there's a lot of white space at the end. That is because my frames originally set up to have a lot more frames total. So if I go back to all of my frames, you see there's all these white ones on the bottom. If I was done with my video, I wouldn't want to have a bunch of white frames. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click select and I'm going to select all of those white frames at the very end, because I want to get rid of them. So I'll just slide through and select all of them. They show up white when they're selected. Now up at the top, you see there's a button called delete. Obviously click that, check yes, I want to delete them. Now I just have my 11 frames. I'll go back. Now when I watch my video, I go back to all the way to the beginning and I will watch the video with play it talks and then it starts over. It creates this loop for me. It almost looks like he just keeps talking. 
It's exactly what I wanted to do. Now I could go back to that upper corner. I'll take me back to all my projects and you see it finished in there. You could export the video or do whatever you needed. I hope this helps. Good luck animating.